trauma-informed education is very important here in Breemore Educate Together Secondary School. I suppose trauma-informed practice is really important in every school, but here in Breemore, um, when we began this school in its inception, we wanted to lay down the idea of um, working restoratively with our students. And that's how the trauma-informed education really, I suppose, grew from that idea. It was just an, a natural um, action to, conti to, to continue down the road of um, trauma-informed practice. Lots of our teachers here would be working um, with trauma-informed practice without even knowing that they are because restorative practice is so well embedded in our school. Um, and it, it really gives us the tools, I suppose, to meet the needs of the whole student body within the school. So being very aware that, you know, some students do come from aspects of trauma, it's really important that we bear that in mind in all our dealings with our students, both in the classroom and outside of the classroom as well. So um, when a student that has come to class has experienced um, some level of trauma, um, outside of school and they are coming into school and um, this can cause a problem for them and their ability to learn so a student that might ne not necessarily have a problem with a certain subject or class have would completely freeze and not be able to um, participate in this lesson they might be irritable they might be jumpy and um, they also might uh, present with behaviors that might not be of that, you know, how that student would react in a normal um, class environment if they hadn't um, mm -hmm. experienced that um, feeling of sense of insecurity or trauma outside of school. Often we would find that when um, students are, um, I suppose, showing concerning behaviour it is coming back to a trauma or a concern that they have that they don't have the words to express. In our school we have a clan system so every student in our school is part of a clan, the word clan meaning family. Each clan has a clan leader and we form the student support team so I am one of the clan leaders. So I look out for the well-being of the students that are in my clan and we run various initiatives and programs to enhance the well-being of our students. One of those programs is the One Good Adult. So we ask our students to, I suppose, identify one good adult that they would have here um, in the school. I feel that the relationship between the staff and the students is a really good. That if a student ever had an issue with something, they really do feel comfortable going up to a teacher in the school. They're very welcoming and they're kind of like a friend other than a teacher in the school. I have really good relationships here. Um, it's just, it's a very positive place to be. The students and staff have a very good relationship. The staff are very trustworthy and accessible and calm and most of the students see them as approachable. So this year we have introduced the nurturing approach into Braemore and we are, are, have started with our nurture room and students will participate in a programme that will allow them to experience a home from home environment and still be able to participate in the school curriculum. Um, the nurturing approach helps students build on confidence um, it would also help them build relationships with students and teachers to allow them to build um, the capabilities to deal with the trials and tribulations of life for life. I believe the nurture room is a very essential room in our school. It helps students that have gone through trauma. It helps build up our confidence, our self-esteem, and I feel it's really important in our lives. I think it's really important just if, you know, that if a student needs the time out or to just calm down, they can come into here and just relax for a couple of minutes. In my experience, if I was ever upset and I went up to a teacher, they're really comforting and they bring you to another room and make sure that everything is okay. They ask questions, but not like if, you, if you're not comfortable answering, they don't pressure you into answering it. Um, they're lovely here. like. They would sit you down, they'd ask you if you want a cup of tea, 
they give you as much time as you need just to calm down and then you can go back to class. I kind of like, I feel very safe here. I like all the people around. Um, like, yeah, there's nowhere else I'd really rather be if I was going through a tough time. In, in the way that this school is run because restorative practice and trauma-informed care is at the core of everything that we do here. Um, and it, it sometimes can be a paradigm shift for a lot of people, um, but they take to it like a duck to water because it is the way we should be moving forward in the education system.